video we're going to talk about order of operations. We're still in unit one, so this is a purple topic. All right, here we go. Order of operations. To be sure that all mathematicians get the same answer when they simplify numerical expressions, they follow a certain set of rules. We call these rules the order of operations. Simplify, number one, simplify all operations inside grouping symbols. And grouping symbols include all of the following items, parentheses, braces, which are kind of like squiggly parentheses, brackets, which are square parentheses, absolute value, which we know two straight lines, square roots, and the fraction bar. So step two is to simplify all exponents. Remember that exponents mean repeated multiplication. Step three is to multiply and divide. Come next, and they're in order from left to right, so you do them at the same time. And last, we need to add and subtract in order from left to right. So if you see subtraction first to the left, you would do subtraction first. You do these two at the same time. So let's do a couple of examples. So we're still, again, unit one, still purple. When we simplify order of operations, we can use the V method or the underline method. Either one works. Each step should be completed individually and the problem should be rewritten after each step. This is very important, very, very important that you show your work or document your thinking as you go through these. All right, so example number one, we have nine minus 10 over negative two minus five. Our first step is gonna be this division bar because it acts like a grouping symbol. So we need to do the two minus five first and I'm gonna underline that so I know that's what I'm working with. So this is nine minus 10 over negative two minus five. We can use KCO and rewrite that as negative two plus negative five. And actually we're gonna change this number to a three to make this problem a little bit easier. There we go, that should be a three. All right, so then we have an addition problem now. So we need to work that addition problem right here. So that gives us nine minus 10 over, my signs are the same, so I'm gonna add two plus three is five, and I keep the sign they share, so negative five. My next step, nine minus, I need to do the division. So I'm gonna do the 10 divided by negative five. 10 divided by negative five, signs are opposite, so my answer is gonna be negative, and 10 divided by five is two. Again, I'm left with a subtraction problem. This is my last step, so I can do KCO, nine, keep, change, opposite, which is two, and nine plus two gives me 11. So the final answer to number one should be 11. All right, number two. So first is grouping symbols, so I'm gonna do 10 plus nine, so that gives me one, oops, one minus 10, and then negative 10 plus nine. Signs are opposite, so I'm gonna subtract. 10 minus nine is one, and 10 has the larger absolute value, so this is gonna be a negative one. My next step is to multiply, so I don't wanna do one minus 10 next. I do wanna do 10 times negative one. So multiplying is my next step, so I copy down one minus 10 times negative one is negative 10. I have a subtraction question, so I can use KCO to change this to an addition. So keep, change, opposite. And again, one plus 10 gives me 11. So for the second time in a row, my examples worked out to be 11. All right, last example, number three. So I don't have any grouping symbols. I'm gonna go straight to the exponents. Exponents mean repeated multiplication. So I can write this exponent out as negative three times negative three. It's not negative three times two. This is, again, your base 
and that's used as a repeated multiplication. We use that twice, so negative 3 times negative 3 divided by negative 3 plus negative 5. All right, next step is multiplication. So I can underline negative 3 times negative 3. Signs are the same, so my answer is going to be positive, and 3 times 3 is 9. So I have 9 divided by negative 3 plus negative 5. My next step is going to be division. 9 divided by negative 3. Signs are opposite. My answer is going to be negative. So negative, and then 9 divided by 3 is 3. So keep the 3, plus negative 5. So my signs are the same for the addition problem. So I add the two numbers. 3 plus 5 is 8. And then we keep the sign they share. So the answer to number 3 is negative 8.